Hey, it's Randy here in the garage. Um, what I've got in the bike stand today is what I refer to as a Schwinn straight bar knockoff. It's a newer aluminum frame, but it's in the style of the old uh, Schwinn straight bars. And I'm sure you've seen this bike before. Um, I originally had it built up with the, uh, as a matter of fact, it's this wheel set that I never had put away yet. Uh, so it was an old, uh, Bendix uh, coaster brake hub, so a single speed. But I want to do something different, and I'm thinking about even making it a multi speed. Um, so I'll have to do something for a brake, which would have to be a uh, caliper brake. The front has a cantilever brakes. I don't know, let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> Okay, here I just said I wanted to do a multi-speed, but I am curious to what these uh, yellow uh, coast brake wheel set looks like on there. Yeah, I really like the looks of that. But like I said, I really wanted it to be a multi-speed with a rear handbrake. Oh, so I don't know, I'm a sucker for colored wheels though. Now, if I went with this red wheel set, I disabled the coaster brake on this wheel set, so I could run a handbrake on this and run it single speed, I guess. Okay, I really want to go the multi-speed route. Um, it'd be too easy just to slap another coaster brake wheel set on here. Um, so if we go multi-speed, that'll uh, give us some challenges with the derailleur and mounting a, a brake. So and then I just got to determine um, what tires. So I'd really like to have something besides just black tires on here. So I think it's going to be one of these two. This has a pretty aggressive uh, knobby tread, where this is more of a street tread. So one other option I have... ...is this homage tire off of this Schwinn S95. I don't know, I have, I'm not 100% sold on these tires on this uh, red Schwinn anyway. And I've been thinking about just putting on some black beefier tires. Okay, this is not gonna be a very quick build if I can't make up my mind on the tires. So I think I am gonna go with these Omich tires. It's gonna be more work uh, having to take them off the Schwinn there, but uh, we'll go with that. Okay, that's probably a little bit ridiculous. The wheel set I decided to use uh, came off a Fuji folding mountain bike. And not the one I currently ride. Um, but I picked up another one of those uh, Fuji folding bikes and this is the wheel set that was on it. And it's a five speed. And I think uh, this is compatible with a one speed chain. And that way I won't have to change out the f uh, chain ring on the bike since it was set up for one speed. Now normally I'm a fan of uh, dork discs. I like them, I think they give it a, give the wheel a finished look. Uh, or maybe it's just because I'm not confident in my derailleur alignment skills. But anyway, this one being beat up as it is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove it. 
and then get the those homage tires mounted onto this wheel set. So this will be our uh, wheel and tire combo. For now, anyway, I can always change the tires out, I guess, if, uh, if I don't like this. Uh, next up, maybe we'll work on a rear brake. I know this looks sketchy, but I've done it on several bikes and haven't had it fail yet. This is a front brake, so it's got a really long bolt. Too long. So I have to stack some washers in here. I think we'll work on the derailleur next. Some old chain that I'm hoping will work. So I've narrowed it down to three stems. And I think these are the bars I'm going to be using. I really don't like any of them. I think just for kicks I'm going to paint this blue to match the frame.
these handlebars, I've extended them at some point. Put a sleeve in there, or a shim, shim in there, and uh, used a JB Weld to hold it together. And back to our shifting box for a shifter. Now for some brake levers. And get some grips so I know where to space these and get them clamped down. I think it's either going to be these purple or the orange. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get this all cabled up, the derailleur and the brakes. I'll spare you from watching that, and I'll check back in when I'm done. So it's the next day. I got too hot and tired last night messing with this, trying to get the uh, drivetrain to work. I'm just not having any luck with the combination of freewheel and derailleur and whatever else, so I'm going to work on that some more. I um, thought this would only take a couple hours to put together, but of course uh, turned out to be more than that, but I guess I asked for it when I said I was going to convert it to a multi-speed. So anyway, again I'll check back in once I get this sorted out. Okay, I think I finally got the combination of everything that works. Whoa. I don't know if that's the sign of a cheap cable, I think. Frayed like that.
Okay, now on to pedals and a saddle. And I think that's it. So these are our pedal choices in 9 16 Looks like these are the same, only I painted these purple. Well, it's all put together, but does it ride? I guess we need to find out. And here we have it. Um, so I've rode it a couple times now, probably 15 or so miles. Um, and I'm liking it, it rides pretty good. Um, shifts, shifts good, brakes well enough, doesn't rattle or squeak, which is odd for one of my bikes. Um, the only thing I might change on it is the stem handlebar setup. It's not the most, uh, the bars are just a little too straight and, and not comfortable. Um, let's go over it and uh, recap what it is that, uh, that I did. It's an aluminum frame I purchased many years ago off the internet. I uh, don't know any more about it than that. It's in the style of the old Schwinn straight bar frames. Uh, the fork, uh, chromoly fork that I put on there, it's, uh, the bike does have an inch and an eighth uh, head tube. It's a three-piece crank uh, using a bottom bracket adapter because it uh, the bottom bracket was for a one-piece crank. So whatever this chain ring is, and I don't even know the teeth on it, and unknown crank arms that I've painted black. I can see some purple through there, so they were originally purple. Maybe they came from state. I'm not sure. The pedals, I, I believe they're aluminum. Uh, they're pretty grippy. Um, they're cheap, as you can tell by that name. Derailleur, we got this 
What I'm assuming is a Shimano knockoff derailleur. All I can see is it says index on it. This uh, five speed cassette. This wheel set was off a Fuji uh, folding mountain bike that I recently picked up, just like the one that I already have. So I use both the front and the rear wheel set off that. Uh, see, this is all being shifted by this uh, Shimano uh, five speed index shifter, and that seems to work great. For brakes, the front we got uh, cantilever. And the rear is caliper, because we had no other way to mount uh, a cantilever or V-brake to it. And they're operated by these Avid brake levers. And I don't know anything about the proper uh, lever and brakes and stuff, but they seem to work well enough uh, on both the, uh, the uh, caliper and the, the cantilever brakes. Let's see the tires. These are the uh, homage uh, by uh, Panaracer. Uh, I guess made for Sim Works. Just a steel seat post. Brooks uh, B72, which they don't make anymore. Handlebars. Uh, steel bars that I extended, as you've seen earlier, um, pretty straight, and that's just too uncomfortable. I need a little, something a little more swept back. Just an old steel gooseneck stem. The issue here is, when I built this bike up many years ago, like I said, this was an inch and an eighth headset and fork, and the stem I originally used on this was too small in diameter for this steer tube, so I welded in another tube to narrow the steer tube size so I could get the stem I wanted to work. And now that's come back to haunt me because I'm really limited. Uh, I think this stem is a 20 dot something millimeter, really small. And if I want to change any of this, I would probably just have to swap out the fork so I could use a different stem. I don't know if I'll go through the trouble to do that or not though. As for the chain, I'm guessing this is I ended up using what's probably a seven speed chain. I didn't measure it, but. As for the paint, I just, uh, years ago gave it this crappy uh, fake patina. A water bottle cage, it's just um, hose clamped on there. So there's a couple other things I'd like to take care of. I think I'm gonna put some of the blue paint back on over some of this. And probably ought to trim that, bolt off and possibly deal with the uh, handlebar and stem situation. Okay, hopefully I uh, covered everything. Oh, I just now notice I am, I am soaking in sweat. It's like triple digit heat here this week. Anyway, as always, thanks for uh, hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video.